Hello guys and welcome to a new Star Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. In this video I have for you game one of the best of three between Nilla and Sean in the semi-finals of the season two playoffs of the Steel Division League. In this one they are playing on Haros Haye and on the left side on the Soviets we have Nilla playing with the 184th rifles and the Vanguard deployment type and on our right we have Sean on the Axis side playing with the 14th Infantry and the Balanced Deployment Type. The map bands for this best of three are as follows. Sean banned Ostrovno, Lutsk West and Brest West. And Nilla banned Zabusen, Tsel and Siano. The division bands for this game, Sean banned Nilla from playing the 26th Guard Rifles, the 3rd Guards Tank Corps, the 1st Polish Infantry, and the 84th Guards Rifles, and Nilla banned Sean from playing the Pansari, the Falschenpanzer Hermann Göring, the 78th Sturm, and the 25th Panzer Grenadier. So, Nilla coming out with a Vanguard 184th is very interesting. It's definitely got the potential to be quite strong in the early game uh, with the abundance of good infantry. It's got Strauki Strauki DP alongside Ognega the Tanko Dasaniki, the 76mm infantry guns. Uh, also has access to Stuarts to back that all up. Some decent planes like the IL-2 Napalm planes. I think there's also IL-2 AT rocket planes and stuff. So lots of decent equipment for the 184th to make use of. But on the side of Sean, He's well known as one of the best uh, balanced players in the game. He was top seed of his group and therefore was placed straight into the semi-final. Has been waiting here for Nilla to challenge him. The 14th Infantry, one of my favourite divisions. It does come with the Lux, which has the 20mm guns. And it has an abundance of infantry, some of it not so good, like the Grenadiers, but it does have like Begleit Grenadiers, which do have some MP44s, also the Begleit Pioneers you can use at the start of the game, uh, which everybody knows as very deadly. So can certainly make use of some great infantry himself, does have Tigers to potentially help him out as well, not sure if he's bringing them in the early game or later on. With the Balanced Division I would suspect that he's going to bring them later on. Does also have access to some interesting JU-88s, ones with cluster bombs, normal bombs, I think there's also a Napalm version of it as well. But yeah, it's going to be a crazy matchup, especially with Nilla bringing a Vanguard to the table, because Vanguard versus Balanced... Everybody knows Vanguard is extremely strong against a balanced division, but Sean has shown himself to be able to hold out in the past versus aggressive divisions, so maybe he can do it this time around. Nilla, of course, uh, beat Frublord in the previous round of the playoffs already, so has already proven himself. Certainly going to be a tough old battle. Let's go through some of Nilla's troops. So on the bottom side here, we have the PTRS 41 AT rifle squad. That's two-man squad. And then we have the 76mm infantry gun. There's also going to be the Sniperi, the uh, recon snipers. And then there's going to be three units of Strauki for the bottom side. For the middle of the map, there's going to be three units of Ognemachiki, the two-man flamers. The 76mm infantry gun. There's going to be two of the Strauki DP. Actually make that six of the Strauki DP. These are incredibly strong infantry squads at mid-range. They've got SVTs and a machine gun. So very, very nice indeed. And they're going to be backed up by an Avto Comrati for some leadership. Further up, we see the PTRS-41 squad. There's going to be the snipers here as well. Seeing the actual ace sniper in there as well, Shanina. Um, there's going to be the Abto Konrati. That's going to be backed up by three units of Strauki DP. Uh, there's also a commander in there, as well as two units of Tanko Desaniki and two more Strauki DP behind. So a very full infantry start from Nilla so far. Two more infantry guns on the top side, two more flamers. Uh, Tango Dasaniki, Stralki DP, and Aptos. So making good use of his leadership. Going to have probably the commander somewhere around here. And then that will be able to give leadership to troops on the top side and into the town. On the side of Sean, uh, we do see a lot of Flammenwerfers being used on the top side. I'm not sure if they're going to be used offensively or defensively. Uh, they might try and rush for this flag and try and take control of this forested area. 
Below that we have the IG-290, which is an infantry gun. Further down, towards the middle of the map, we're going to see the use of the Commandant and a battery filler there. There's going to be Sitterungs, Stostrup with the MP44s. These are really nice. MP44 uh, equipped infantry with also Molotovs. Uh, two sets of Erzatsrup and a Flakvilling. Stostrup MP44 and another Erzatz MG back there. On the bottom side road into the town, we've got the Sitterungs, the Erzatsrupen, Battery Führer, lots more Erzatsrupen and the Erzatz MG. And then into the very bottom side, two more Erzatsrupen, Stostrup with MP44s and the 45mm AT gun. So maybe expecting some Stuarts in play with the 45mm, definitely expecting Air Force with the use of a Flakvilling early on. The flag fling can be used to support against infantry, just got to be careful not to let that too far forward so that it gets killed by infantry by being in line of sight all the time. Either way, a lot more infantry in the center at the moment for Nilla. Look at that. Tons of Strauki DP coming in. And, well, he's only up against really Erzatstruppen. And Strauki DP do trump Erzatstruppen quite a bit. And Sidrungs as well, because the Sidrungs, uh, their machine gun really isn't the best. The Erzatz MGs, I suppose, are there to make up for that, but all of these can be disheartened very quickly and their morale will cause them to fall back immediately. ME410 coming in on the side of Sean with two 250kg bombs and we see the IL-2 coming in on the side of Nilla goes straight down to the two-star Flakvilling. Lovely preparation there from Sean to make use of the Flakvilling to counteract the napalm il2 but you can see the infantry is suffering massively at the moment these stostrup squads just don't have the numbers to match up against all of this three star stroke dp squads the bombs did fall down onto these two stroke on the bottom side but the town engagement is really where it's at both players just kind of happy with their deployment on the top and bottom side loads of these flammenwerfers taking control of that flag as predicted but yeah this middle area is really in bad shape for Sean right now. It's just purely just because the Starkey DP are so good at the mid-range engagement and that's really the sort of range that you're playing at in a town most of the time. It's really difficult to manage like a 100 meter range engagement which is where like the Stostrup with MP44 would come in handy because of the Molotovs. But in this case the Lux is actually going to go down there very quickly. The Starkey DP do also have the uh, PTRDs so they can kill light armor. And it looks like Sean is just rushing in more Ersatz to open to back this up. But honestly, he hasn't really killed much of Nella's forces so far. Does manage to find a lovely surrender there with the Ersatz to open a battery shooter. But he's definitely got a job to do here. On the top side, the Flammenwerfers are just overwhelming the attacking forces. Oknemachiki, Throki. It looks like Sean's really done well to ambush Nilla up here. <laughs> I don't think Nilla really expected that many flamethrowers on the top side. But nicely done. Or well, ME410 coming in with the bombing strike. Is that going for the sniper? I think it was, but the sniper died anyway. I don't know if that was the bombing strike, just a little bit of lag there maybe. Uh, Erzaz Thropen unfortunately suffering to the firepower of the Strauki. Now these Strauki aren't Strauki DP, so they don't have SVTs and they don't have two machine guns. Uh, they only have the Mosin Nagants and one DP. But they still definitely defeat Erzatz Tropen in extended range engagements. At close range, Sean's going to really be dependent on his Tostrup with MP44. If he had some veterancy on these, he could potentially stand them on the edge of the tree line and uh, slaughter quite a lot of these Strauki before they get too close. But doesn't look like that's going to happen. Just smoke coming in on the bottom side to help the Sraki get forwards. Battery Fjordar does go down in the town for Sean, which means his Erzastropen are going to lose their veterancy. And therefore, probably the battle against the tank of Dasaniki there, even though the IG is getting involved with its uh, HE from a distance. These Erzats have just piled into the Sraki DP here. There's still the Oknemachiki there, though, that will tip that in uh, Nilla's favor. Throki DP, Tanko Desaniki, two of each coming into this bottom side. The Tanko Desaniki will, de will definitely do better than Stostrup at the 100 meter range. And oh no, the Stostrup just wasted their Molotovs onto the transports. And that means that the Tanko Desaniki should be able to get decent Molotovs down. And look how quickly they slaughtered those troops. 
the Star Strip, as that Strip, and going to do a runner. The 45 mil is going to have to be left behind. Uh, Big Light Pioneers on their way. Citarung's there, and the Panzer II looks. This is bad news for Sean on the bottom side, but he's managing to hold 12 to 12 so far. The Flakveling and the 20 mil ripping to to shreds that squad. But these Erzats in bad shape, and we see the M5 Stuarts, the Lenley Stuarts, in the town now. These can definitely defeat the Panzer II looks, as well as help pin down the infantry. It's really quite a lot on this Begolite Pioneer on the bottom side. You'll see how quickly they rip to shreds the Strauki DP, even though they're in heavy cover. 13 man squads with 9 MP44s and a machine gun. They just do so much damage. But Tank, Odessa, Niki sneaking through the smoke, or at least they were trying to, are going to get the Molotov onto the Beglites. Sean does not dodge it. That does do a couple damage to that Beglite Pioneer squad. The pa Panzer II looks, though, kind of saves the day for a little bit there. Throwki still pushing in strong, though. PTRS is in position. Throwki DP with the PTRD as well. They might just have enough penetration to break down that looks in the town. Things are not looking good. The uh, flag bling. It might manage to take out an M5L. The Lux does go down, but nope. Can't kill a tank in time. Blackfilling also goes down. That's two expensive losses in the middle. 15 to 9 now in favor of Nilla. He's almost taken all of the town flags and is putting a lot of pressure on the bottom side of the map. He already knew that he had an advantage in the town, I feel, and therefore put most of the rest of his forces into this bottom side push. And a Vanguard versus Balanced He's getting... An extra 500 points in phase A, and he's putting it almost all into infantry. There is an IL-2 M3 coming in to just rocket some of this infantry so that potentially his Thraki can push forwards, but I think he's just going to try and regroup there before pushing through the town a bit more because he's definitely focused on this bottom side right now with the Avtos getting right up into the face of the Sitarongs. Sean does give them the retreat order so they stop fi fighting and the Avtos land on top of them. They're dead in no time. Fast and furious attacks here from Nilla so far. And he's definitely got the better of Sean on the bottom side. We're still not into phase B. And Sean is definitely in trouble. His Sostrup MP44s are on the way. Um, the Erzastruppen in the town are now under fire from the two Shermans. or um, Not Shermans. The Duets, sorry. It looks like one of them has been killed though. Going to see the ME410 come in with the bombing strike there onto the Stuart to try and get rid of that or at least make it fall back for now. Just trying to hold onto that point best he can, but it's 16 to 8 now. And the Begleit Pioneers, they're doing a lot of the damage, but I don't think they've claimed many kills yet, unfortunately. With the Avtos, Tankos, the Stroki, all in combination, it makes it very difficult to make use of the HE shells without taking too much damage on the squad. More Beglites on the way. And it looks like Sean's going to just try and set up some infantry guns in the center to contain the town push for the time being. And maybe just running out of infantry already in phase A. As that's Thropen actually on the way, so maybe not. But I think Sean has just ran over most of... Or Nilla's ran over most of Sean's infantry so far. In a very dramatic style. As the composition of Nether's forces now backed up by Stuarts is just so deadly for Sean's infantry, and he just doesn't have the support to match. The Panzer II looks are definitely trumped by the Stuarts at close range, and the fact that most of the infantry, the Stroki DP at least, have PTRDs or PTRS in the case of the two man squads also makes it hard for the Panzer II looks to do too much. Nice little victory there for the Sostrup MP44s, managing to pin down the squad and also going to kill the tank Odessa Niki in the open, so nice job indeed. But the IL-2 M3, that's still strafing the infantry on this far side of the town. And we'll give back the flag here to Nilla. On the top side, the Flammenwerfer have just been surrounded. So that's going to give that flag to Nilla as well. And Nilla's just going to capitalize on this top side. It's really, really falling apart right now for Sean. I think it's just coming down to that Vanguard versus Balanced and the sheer aggression that Nella's putting on right now with the Stuarts. You can tell just by the way that he's moving his tanks so close to his infantry. 
He's very, very confident that he can push up, especially into the face of the Urzathropen and Baglites. These don't have any AT to hand, so he can just drive right into the face of them, and Sean's had enough. He's going to call it. That's going to be a total victory for Nilla in Game 1 of the semi-final of the Season 2 playoffs. My, my. Well, that was certainly something, wasn't it? 9 minutes and 56 seconds. 1,000 kills to 620 losses. Nilla's infantry completely overwhelming that of Sean. And I think that's one place where the 14th infantry can fall down. It's just infantry availability in general. Because I mentioned they have Begolite Pioneers, but we didn't see them used from the start of the game, which I actually find quite surprising with the uh, 14th, because it's definitely something that I feel you need in order to stabilize. But... Later on, he'd probably had the Bugleite Grens like in Phase B or Phase C to get more availability of them because they're the only other decent squad that you can get. Because you saw his use of the Urzas Thropen and the Citadelungs from Jean. Um, and they just don't match up to Strauki DP. Uh, Strauki DP, one of the best mid range squads on, well, potentially the best mid range squad on the side of the Soviets. So. Yeah, fantastic use of those by Nilla. If we jump into the kills, we can see the Stoker DP, especially given that veterancy, just taking apart those disheartened squads and also killing a Panzer II Lux there with the PTRD. Uh, that was one thing that Nilla did very well in this game. He set up his command network and he made good use of his leaders to give them the extra veterancy. So nicely done there. Thank you, Dasan Niki, getting rid of some of those flamers. Starkey DP against Ostrup MP44 and the killing the Battlefuhrer. Killing that Battlefuhrer was very important. Took away the veterancy from the Urzastropen, which does make them more effective. And uh, the Urzastropen thing is something that people do a lot. They give like two star veterancy to Urzastropen, and the Urzastropen can get a lot of value because they have a lot of Car 98. And if you hold it like a mid range engagement, then they can get value. But in this case, the Stroker DP just so much stronger and just kind of whitewashed them completely. But nice job with the tank of Dasaniki getting right up into the face of Jean uh, with those. Uh, the sniper there managing to kill one of the infantry guns. The M5 Stuarts, of course, coming in to back things up. And I think, you know, the positioning of Nella's Stuarts was really, really good. Uh, getting them right into the face of the enemy where he knew uh, Sean could not take them out because Sean did not have... Grenadiers with Panzerfaust in Phase A, which are available to the 14th. Um, and yeah, his infantry just really struggled in the face of the armor in the in the sort of late Phase A. Uh, whereas in the early Phase A, it was just the overwhelming amounts of infantry that got the better of Sean. And I just don't think Sean really expected that much to be coming out from the start. Nice job by Sean uh, with the flag filling. Uh, Preempted the IL-2 play. The, I mentioned the Napalm Bombers, and they can be very, very strong, but flew straight into the flak filling this time around, and so we didn't see that for the rest of the game. The ME410s did a little bit of damage to infantry, but I don't think Sean could really capitalize on the bombing strikes where he'd pinned down infantry because any movement forwards has just caused the death of his troops. And uh, then we see the one of the Citerongs managing to kill one of the M5s. So that's where that went in the central town. And the Stoss troop with MP4 and Glites kind of coming in later on and showing what they can do. But a lot of the Stoss troop in the town were killed very, very quickly against overwhelming numbers. And uh, the Bergelite Pioneers just, I think, came in a bit too late. So there we go. That is uh, game one, straight into Nilla's pocket. It is a best of three. We'll have to see if Sean can bring it back in game two. But an explosive start indeed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.